Hey everybody, Dan from On One here, back with another sneak peek video of one of the cool features coming in Photo Raw 2025. This one is another generative AI feature called Generative Crop. This is the next generation of Content Aware Crop. If you're not familiar with that, it allows you to crop a photo out rather than cropping a photo in. It's great if you need to recompose your photo, if you need to crop your photo and you don't want to lose any information in it. It's pretty amazing what it can do. Let me show you how I would use it. So on a photo like this, let's say my client wants to order a big print, like a 24 by 30 inch print for their wall. And I want to sell them that. That's a great size. Now, the only problem is when this photo was taken, the subject is still pretty big in the frame. When you're selling a big wall portrait, you kind of want to see more of the scene, more of the expanse and have the subject be a little bit smaller. And especially if I go and I crop this thing, if I grab my crop tool and I set it to the aspect ratio that I need to make that 24 by 30, and that's the same thing as a four by five or an eight by 10, that's the common ratio for most photographic prints, it's going to crop off those sides and the subject's going to be even bigger in the frame. So it doesn't make a very good wall portrait. Well, what we can use is the new canvas extension combo box up here, and we'll just pick the method that we want to use to extend that. And we'll use one of the generative AI options, depending on your video card. Once you've enabled that, you can now move the crop box outside of the photo. So I'm just going to grab this upper crop handle and I'm just going to move it out here. Let me make my photo just a little bit smaller using the zoom slider here. That gives us a bit more room to work. This will let us recompose that photo more the way we want it to be. Yeah, well, let's go even a little bit bigger than that. Move our subject more to the center of the photo. All that area that's gray inside of the box will be added with generative AI. And bam, there you go. It was able to extend my canvas and fill in realistic image detail all the way around. It kept the line of the dock, kept the focus the same. Great way to extend my canvas. Let me show you another example. Here's a similar scenario. Great intimate shot, but the problem is there's no room at the bottom and there's no room on the left hand side. When this goes into a frame, those are gonna end up getting cut off. I'd really like to have a little bit more space in the photo. So let's do the same thing. I'm gonna grab that crop tool, turn the canvas extension on, pick the aspect ratio that I need for my photo. Again, I wanna do an eight by 10 from this. So I need to extend this out a little bit to give me more room to work. There we go. I like that composition better. Let's hit the okay button. There's another example where it was able to extend the canvas, it completed the tree, it kept the edges of the pathway, and it kept the depth of field correct to the rest of the photo. What the heck? Let me show you one more. All right, let's say I really like this photo, but I want to make a square print out of it because that happens to fit the space on the wall where I want to hang it best. So I'm just going to grab the crop tool. I'm going to switch it over to a square aspect ratio. I'm going to turn canvas extension on. And then I'm just going to move the crop box to the edges of the top and bottom so that I can keep the full composition of the original photo. And then we'll just add in the areas to the left and right. This is adding about 50% more pixels to the photo. And there you go. You can see how it was able to add a ton more information on the left hand, right hand side in a realistic way. It matches the scene, blends in naturally. All right, there you go. There's the amazing improvements to the new generative crop tool. Thanks for watching.